Welcome back everybody to another episode of CSK News. Hope you guys all enjoyed today. It is a packed episode full of stories. The first one I want to talk about, the first one in the thumbnail you guys can see is Stewie2K. Is he cheating? Probably not. But thanks to the Don who actually sent me this clip on screen for all of you to slow it down. We can actually watch as he turns a corner. He was caught on live stream. I say caught, but it's most likely just a CSGO bug. As you guys see, he turns the corner there and kind of turns his character as well. You see the outline of the enemy character, just like in many cheating scripts out there. You can toggle that on or off. People are thinking, a lot of skeptics out there. Maybe Dan M. My good friend might make a return here on this clip. People are thinking maybe for just a slight second he toggled onto his cheats. Most likely not. There are so many bugs in CSGO right now that still have yet to be fixed. This might just be one of them. So I highly doubt Stewie2K was cheating. But leave your comments down below if you guys actually think he was. That'd be kind of interesting thought because as of right now, he is the only Cloud9 member that is actually streaming CSGO. And he, if he's the only one who's streaming and he just, has, just so happens to be cheating, that'd be pretty ironic. But on top of that, we actually have Shroud coming out on stream as well. He's been playing PUBG a lot. I'm not blaming the guy. These guys these players need breaks. So for all of you out there who think I hate Shroud for playing PUBG a lot, I think he does enjoy streaming. I think it's going to be a good future for him when he does eventually leave Cloud9. But he actually announced this on stream where Cloud9 is likely not going to ESL New York qualifiers, which means, yes, they will not be at New York either if they don't even manage to qualify. So here's what he had to say about that. Are you guys still in need of mm, a buggy boss? Are you guys still in need of a stand-in at the New York qualifier? We'll have I have no idea, bro. I don't know. I don't think we're going, honestly. Yeah, we're, we're most likely not going to go. And this is kind of creepy because it shows how easily Shroud can lie on stream with a monotone voice. You guys saw that clip just pass through. You can replay it if you want to. How easy it is for Shroud to just say a blatant lie because it seems he did know that Cloud9 will be going and just announced about f four hours after this stream, actually, we were announced Cloud9 will be going to ESL New York without automatic and in place of him will be Cloud9 Swag, a stand-in because, of course, at ESL events, he is now allowed. So automatic apparently will be busy and Swag will stand in for Cloud9 9 at ESL New York. It's going to be cool to see them at the qualifiers together and see how they do. But that was kind of creepy to see how good Shroud is at line because you have to assume he did know the team was going to be going there. But also confirmed as well by Joe Cardali. He was incorrect about swag. We're going to infer as of right now he's correct about Dazed and AZK. They will not be at the qualifiers, although Steel will be. He's having some team registration issues, but Dazed will not be there and AZK will also not. Though I was incorrect yesterday about talking about Torque, the scrim team that Steel is going to be on for the New York qualifiers. I said that if they did play with that roster. I'll stick to my word here. It's a very underwhelming roster, but he did announce a few hours before my last video. Unfortunately, I couldn't edit it out in time. He will be playing with that roster. Again, that roster on screen for all of you, known as Team Torqued. A very solid roster, but still, I think kind of underwhelming for a New York qualifier. I don't see them qualifying, but anything can happen. They have 17-year-old Floppy, as well as TCK, a former E United stand-in member, and on top of that, we have Frost, who's actually a former Echo Fox coach. So, a pretty solid lineup for North American-wise, but I don't know what kind of qualifying teams they're going to go up against, so we'll see what happens to Steel in the future in there. Now on top of that, speaking of big tournaments coming up, or I guess seasons coming up, we have ESL Pro League Season 6 slowly coming up, especially the roster lock, which is actually happening tomorrow. And as of right now, according to Decay, a lot of teams do not know or did not know about the roster lock. So we have so many teams out there that are unfinished that do not know about the roster lock. So expect some kind of announcement from several teams, at least hopefully soon. They could actually delay it. I mean, hopefully maybe they're going to reach out to EPL and maybe delay this, but I highly doubt it. So expect team announcements soon for teams like Optic, we have FaZe Clan, Godsent, Fnatic, the list goes on and on. Even Gambit have not announced full rosters so far for ESL Pro League Season 6, so we'll see what happens with the roster lock and how this actually kind of switches things up when it comes to announcing these things. Now on top of that, lastly as well, we have Cirque, who is apparently, according to Decay as well, not joining Team Rogue. And this is highly controversial because he was going to be their Bulgarian opera as well as their fifth member. Hiko announced this on stream a while ago, and apparently NRG has actually been going after him as well. And according to Slingshot Esports, he is likely going to NRG over Rogue. I told you guys a couple episodes ago this was possible because they were targeting him and it seems they have offered him more money and you can't blame the kid. Him being so young and influential it comes down to money when it really comes down to if he doesn't feel bad leaving a team that he kind of verbally agreed to join like Hiko it really comes down to which team can offer him more money and likely NRG was that team. So it seems that Cirque will be the fifth opera, uh, the actual opera replacing PTR on Team NRG and he will not be joining Team Rogue which is very unfortunate. And also before I get into a very important announcement for all of you, I do want to thank you all who've used my Ninja Swap code. I guess I don't have really an affiliate code, but thank you to them. Ninja Swap is actually my partnership with Sparkle's website. It's a trading website. They're always going to be in the top line description, at least for the next three or four weeks so far. They're my sponsor for this month. So thank you to them for actually doing that. And thank you all of you guys who've actually used Ninja Swap for your trading site. Now, on top of that, even more importantly, I am bringing back a YouTube series to fill in for the days where I can't make news videos. Many of you guys are aware that I'm going back to school. And so when I have heavy school days, I can't make news episodes. So I want to make episodes ahead of time. And that'll be this series on screen, funny name tags. Now, it was kind of a 
cringy series back in the day because I did it based off McSkillet series and I kind of did it in a cringy way. I'm really, I'm really bad at being funny on video, okay? Unless you watch my live stream, I struggle with being funny on this kind of video format. So I want to bring back funny name tags, but I need all of your help. If you guys want this series to come back every once in a while, maybe like an episode every two to three weeks, maybe once a month, I'm actually going to have it show my tweet on screen. I need your help. Reply with a skin type or an actual uh, weapon skin in game and then give me a name tag for that, a funny name tag. I've had a great, a few ideas so far and I almost have enough for episode number one or I guess this would be like episode, I don't know how many episodes I had, but I have almost enough for another episode to come out soon. So please, I'll leave that tweet down below for all of you to reply to. If you have any funny name tag ideas, please give them to me and I will use them and also shout you out or show the screenshot of your actual comment in the video. It's going to be kind of a community funny name tags episode and I thought I would turn off lights for kind of an emotional effect, but it's really not working. This is actually the last video for a long time going to be here. I'm moving into my apartment tomorrow, so expect a live stream CSGO news show tomorrow morning. And on top of that, we're going to have a drinking stream tomorrow night with some of my roommates. So it's going to be a fun time and it's going to be a brand new start back in my apartment, my new apartment for all of you. So the next episode you guys see me on for CSGO news will be in a brand new location and I'm going to be trying to make videos and record audio in front of my roommates and people I don't know. So it's going to be kind of a nerve wracking thing. So I really want to just quickly thank all of you for watching, liking this video, commenting down below. Please leave a comment. I'll have all day tomorrow to reply to those comments. So please, if you're going to leave a comment at any point in time, leave it on this video. So thank you all for an amazing summer. Thank you all to my sponsors, Ninja Swap, and everyone else who's been watching videos, especially you guys out there right now. I do appreciate your support more than you actually know. So as always, live a laugh a lot. Remember, I, like you, we're going to do one last yelling outro for this place. So please turn down your headsets if you're not ready for that. Remember, I like you. I'll see you all tomorrow. Ah!